Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. This is my first video of 2024. It is the first week of January and everyone's on their New Year's resolution motivation kick and I was down for the count with a sinus infection so I feel like I'm just behind everybody but I think it's also okay if you guys are also in a similar boat to give yourself some grace. Like you don't have to jump right into being the most successful version of yourself in the very first few days of the year. Like you've got all year so giving myself some grace here but I did want to say I miss YouTube so much so one of my like internal goals is going to be to post more on YouTube this year than I did last year. I feel like I dropped the ball a little bit I had a lot going on and I would love to pick it up in 2024. So I'm going to start that off by filming one of my favorite videos to personally watch, which is a favorites video. And I struggled with what I wanted to call this because every year I do a roundup of all of like the best makeup products of the previous year. But this isn't really going to be that because honestly, I just want to talk about what I'm currently loving. I don't want to like do a deep dive this year, I don't think. So this is going to be more so like products that I am bringing with me into 2024. I have a lot of beauty hair and skin products to share. I also have a couple random favorites to throw in. So let's just dive in. No particular order. I'm just going to one by one share everything that I've been loving. First up, if you are a self-care girly, if you are a body oil girly, you love to smell good, then this is the product for you. This has been one of my top favorite discoveries of 2023 and it's the Kopari Golden Aura Body Oil with 24 karat gold. This is a glass bottle. It literally just has the most delicious, beautiful, light, airy vanilla. I kind of like can't smell right now, but it's like a vanilla, coconutty, luxurious, lightweight scent. I don't know what the 24 karat gold actually does for you, but like there's flakes in this of gold and it has hyaluronic acid in it. It absorbs really nicely into the skin. It doesn't feel like sticky or greasy. It's just the perfect body oil. I will be repurchasing this. I have made it quite far in the bottle. I started to like preserve it. So I am going to use the rest of this and buy another one from Ulta with a coupon code because I'm just so obsessed with it. Especially like Obviously, we're still in winter, but my mind is ready for summer. Going into spring and summer, this you just need to bring this with you. <laughs> I have a new fragrance favorite, and this is kind of strange because I prefer the travel size version over the big bottle, and I have no idea why. This is the Skylar Clean Beauty brand. It's available as Sephora, and this is one of their famous scents, Boardwalk Delight. If you're a vanilla, cotton candy, sweet scent lover, this is like an elevated version of like a cotton candy type fragrance but for some reason the rollerball has more longevity than the big bottle and honestly it might not even be that might not be a true statement do you know what I mean like I have no idea if that's even a thing but I love the rollerball so much like I spray this on me it's fine it's great it smells good but this has like a potency to it I literally can't speak with my stupid sinus infection oh it just smells so good immediately like you don't even have to wait for it to dry down to be so so delicious and just fill up the whole area around you. So for whatever reason, love this over this, but they're both good. It takes a lot for me to want to wear the same fragrance every single day, but I reach for this all day, every day. It's just so, so good. I'm sure all of you guys have heard about this eyeshadow already this year. This is an old version, but this is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Ritz. This is the Urban Decay what's it called? Space Cowboy. I don't even have that shadow, but this is the one that's a dupe for it. I have the newer one somewhere in my collection, but I just couldn't find it for this video. But this is just the most beautiful eyeshadow topper. I have a little bit of this on my lid today, but this is like an older, more dried out version, so it's not as intense as it could be. But these are what? $7 now. I think they used to be $5. I have a discount code with ColourPop, but you could also pick this up at Target. Um, just do yourself a favor, try these as eyeshadow toppers if you haven't already. Literally just use your finger, tap it on, you're good to go. I know eyeshadow has kind of been like not as prominent in the beauty trends lately. Um, so even if you're not into eyeshadow, like 
all you have to do is tap this on and you have a pretty little shimmer on your eyelids so like why wouldn't you want to try this but a great rediscovery of the past year so I wanted to mention it now I am an eyeshadow girly and I love eyeshadow palettes it's one of my favorite product categories within makeup but I'm not gonna lie to you guys I also have been cutting down on the eyeshadow like the intense eyeshadow looks I've been doing a lot of what I'm wearing today which is like a smoky wing with a little bit of brown in the crease so I do have two eyeshadow palettes that have come out on top as far as being like my most used recently I do have some that my heart burns for this year like the pretty grunge from Huda Beauty actually I still like the empowered from Huda Beauty as well those two I can get really special looks out of if that makes sense but these two are my most reached for when it comes to neutral eyeshadow we have the Patrick top major dimension 3 which is all neutral it has a cool row and a warm row and two creams I don't really use the creams a lot but I have used them for like my smoky wing and I liked it but I reach for this really often like all the time and then if I'm not reaching for that like I just want to change it up I will go in with the master mattes makeup by Mario palette and this is just a basic matte eyeshadow palette that I feel like everybody needs in their life and I think the Mario is cheaper than the Patrick Ta. The only thing that I kind of worry about with clean beauty being a prevalent trend right now is that there aren't as many preservatives in our eyeshadows anymore if you're buying clean beauty and sometimes preservatives aren't necessarily a bad thing. I'm not a chemist. I can't tell you like the exact details of every single preservative but I do think that our eyeshadow palettes will not be lasting us 10 years anymore <laughs> like some have in the past. We'll see. I do take really good care of my makeup as you guys probably know. <laughs> so I'm only going to share one foundation product because honestly this year I've used a lot of my tried and true favorites from the past. It's nothing too exciting but I do have one that I kind of rediscovered over the year and that is the Luminous Silk Foundation from Giorgio Armani. For whatever reason I was sleeping on this. I don't know what my excuse is or maybe it's just the texture of my skin right now my skin being a little bit more dry I don't know what it is but I absolutely love this foundation it's at the top of my list right now and I'm wearing it today it's just such a beautiful natural finish and it's not too dewy it's not too matte right in between obviously I'm glowing it up right now with other products but it's a perfect amount of coverage too I, I just don't want to look cakey and I honestly don't reach for super full coverage foundations very often this can get you whatever kind of coverage you want just use less or use more and I love a product like that so I wanted to give a little shout out because this is my favorite current foundation. I still use everything I talked about this year. The Basma Beauty Foundation Stick, all the skin tints, Say Tower 28, Too Faced, all the skin tints. Love them. Reach for them specifically a lot in the summer when I know I'm going to be going out in the sun because I love having SPF in my products. It makes my life easier. I do want to give a shout out though to a concealer that I love and I love even more now that they have expanded the concealer line and that is the Kosa's Revealer concealer. I loved this concealer last year but the shade that I had was tinted a little bit too yellow for my liking and they recently released some neutral shades and cool undertones. So the one that I have now is 2.6 C and this is the perfect like neutral cool undertone. I have it underneath my eyes today and it's so so much better of a match for me. So I'm excited to bring this into the new year. I think I'm going to be using it a lot. With that being said though if you want to know the concealer that I have used the most in 2023 and it's probably my favorite of all time it's the luminous faux filter or Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Concealer. This is in the shade Cotton Candy. Mine's almost empty. I will be repurchasing this. This is the greatest of all time. This is like a runner-up and I love them both. <laughs> a trendy product that sucked me in but actually turned out to be amazing was the Summer Fridays Lip Balms. These are the Lip butter balms. My favorite is definitely pink sugar. The sky is probably almost gone. This is my purse 
lip balm and then I also do have I think this is the clear one vanilla uh, I have these two I want them all I literally want every single one I'm trying to hold myself back because they are pricey but I think having one or two in your collection isn't gonna hurt you and I would highly recommend them they smell really good they last a while on the lips even with my cold I can smell how delicious this one is it's like cupcake frosting they are trendy but they are worth the money in my opinion. I have had a lot of days where I don't wear false lashes. I do wear them when I'm filming content so you guys always see me wearing them but like day to day I don't really wear false lashes too too often unless I'm feeling like putting the extra energy in. So I have had to wear mascara a lot which I love the Tartlet tubing. It's still going strong. I'm sure that I mentioned this last year but this is a new bottle. I actually got this off of TikTok shop for $9 somehow which makes it more affordable than drugstore mascara so even more confident saying that this is worth your money especially if you can get it on sale. I have like really short kind of nubby lashes and they fall down and they stick straight so I need a really good grip from a wand like I can't have a wet huge wand because it's just gonna get all over my skin. I like a skinny grippy wand with a great lengthening formula. This also comes off really easily because it is a tubing mascara but it doesn't fall down onto my makeup or smudge or anything like that. Just all around great product. I want to rapid fire through some hair products. I want to do a video about my hair journey because unfortunately with the health journey that I've gone through, I, well not unfortunately, I'm very proud of myself. I have lost a significant amount of weight and that's what I wanted to do. But unfortunately with that, I'm losing hair and I hate that. And it's a very sad consequence of going on uh, weight loss journey and if you know you know so I had very thick hair I now am in the category of fine and or thinning hair which sucks but I have some products that I have been loving I'm still treating my hair really really well I do need to up my protein and my diet and I'm working on that in the new year but I have a strengthening scalp oil that I have been loving it's actually super affordable I got this in an Allure beauty box I tried it and my hair felt amazing after and it's growing in really really well it might be thinning towards the ends which <laughs> Maybe someday I'll show you, but towards the root, it is nice and thick, and I think that's because of all the work I'm putting in. But this is the Miel or Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. I just do like half a dropper. I rub it into the tips of my fingers, and then I go in to where like I feel like my hair would be thinning out, and I rub my scalp a little bit, um, maybe like three days a week or every other day or something and honestly this isn't like to the point where I can't wear my hair the next day because my hair is so oily because I'm not really putting a ton in there it's all absorbing into my scalp and it's not making my hair greasy so I really do like this it smells good I think it works and it's like $11 for a bottle I don't heat style my hair very often I let it kind of air dry probably 90% of the way and then I go in with my Dyson air wrap to dry it the rest of the way. So I do use heat protectant on my hair. I've been using the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser Invisible Oil Heat UV Protective Primer. This is a new bottle. I think the small size is 15 bucks. I need to buy the big one because I've gone through two of these, but this is my favorite leave-in treatment, but I also do use the leave-in conditioner from Way. This guy is almost gone as well. This one just smells like clean girl aesthetic. Super, super fresh and clean, fresh out the shower, like just really, really good clean scent. Try it if you haven't. And then this is a different scent, but this is the way hair oil. I've been using this in the ends of my hair very sparingly, like a tiny amount. And this smells like lilacs to me. I don't know why, but yep, straight up lilacs. Perfect scent for spring. I love lilac scents in the spring. Um, totally different scents. I don't know what it is, but I love all three of these for my hair journey. And if you guys have any recommendations for shampoo and conditioner, for thinning hair, <laughs> love that for me, please let me know in the comments. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that Sol de Janeiro is one of my favorite brands. I actually want to do a video on their new product release, hopefully today as well, if I have the energy. But one of my favorite products of the entire year was a limited edition spray, and I doubt they're going to bring it back. So I just want to quickly mention it in case you guys have it. It's the Do Not Disturb 
from the summer 2023 line oh my god so this is the same thing it's like clean girl aesthetic like powdery clean laundry plus cloud by ariana grande so let me shout out this kind of gimmicky product real quick because it turns out it's actually fantastic for dry skin I call this gimmicky because it's pink and everything was pink centered around the Barbie movie and everything this year. So it helps it sell for sure because that's the reason I purchased this is because it's a pink serum. This is the Ordinary, what's it called? Soothing and Barrier Support Serum. And as you can see, it is pink. It's like Pepto-Bismol pink, which that medicine makes me... Ugh, I, bad memories. But... This serum is actually so nice for my skin. I've been using this before doing makeup and it's so lightweight but hydrating and just, I don't know, it gives me glass skin. I, I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I did and The Ordinary is super affordable. It's just worth trying. My favorite gripping primer of all time, e.l.f. actually listened to us and they have a limited edition drop of Jelly Pop right now. I need to hurry up and pick up some backups before they get rid of it again. They really need to make this perfect. Permanent. That's all I'm gonna say. This is just as good as Milk Hydro Grip. It's just as good as their normal green power grip, but it smells like watermelon. Going absolutely strong for my favorite blush is Rare Beauty Happy. And you know how these last forever? They really do. A little bit goes a long way. I'm not gonna lie, I think mine's about to run out, which is so crazy. I've been using this so much. It's the perfect pink for my skin tone. I cannot stop wearing it. It blends really well with all clean cream products. It blends like a dream. It looks so good with all different color highlighters, with every bronzer that I have. It's just a product that plays well with others and it's the perfect shade of pink for me. And I do want to hunt down the e.l.f. dupe. I have the e.l.f. in Dusty Rose, but it's not the same as this. It's like peachy. So I want to pick up the e.l.f. one and compare it to this because that would be cool, but this is only 20 something dollars. It will literally last over a year, so I think it's well worth the price. We need more colors, more pinky colors like this. I just love this. Rare Beauty Happy, you gotta have it. My favorite bronzer, the only bronzer I'm wearing today, and the first cream bronzer to ever be almost fully used up by me is the Makeup by Mario skin transforming enhancer soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer mine is in the shade light i have already picked up a new one this is so satisfying for someone like me with a collection like mine this just makes me happy so if that says anything about how i feel about it absolutely incredible chef's kiss product i don't love everything from makeup by mario but this is so good it's just like a barely there kind of product. I'm sure if I picked up a darker shade, it would be a little bit more intense. But like, I feel like a cream bronzer's job is to make you look sun-kissed and not look like mud on your face. And this does exactly that with like a little hint of glow. And I am obsessed with this. So of course it had to make it into this video. Okay. I'm getting really stuffed up, but I mentioned that I have been on a fitness and health journey. And part of that journey is being very consistent at the gym and something I've been loving like as far as my gym clothes go is wearing sweatpants to the gym. I have two pairs. I'm just going to mention them as being the best kind of oversized fit, comfy, soft. They look good. They are high quality sweatpants if you guys want to look into them and they have like the cargo-esque pockets on the side. One pair is from Abercrombie. I've been obsessing over Abercrombie clothes. I have like a lot of Abercrombie now. I am having to repurchase um, wardrobe staples in my collection um, in new sizes. I'm saying um a lot. Um, um, um. Um, 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 um. But these sweatpants are the perfect gray sweatpants and they have the pockets on the side. They are like a true oversized, like get your normal size. They will be oversized and I love them so much. And then I asked for this Nike pair for Christmas and I got them and I'm obsessed with them. They might even be a little bit higher quality than the Abercrombie ones, but I'm obsessed with both and I want both in every single color, but I'm waiting to stabilize 
my weight and everything and see what size I'm going to be at. Uh, but I highly, highly recommend both of these sweatpants. You guys will not be disappointed if you try them. Also, a big part of my journey has been walking. And when I say walking, I mean I've been walking miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles. And so you need a good walking sneaker. And I'm just going to recommend the ones that I have. I don't have them up here with me. But I have two pairs from Brooks. They are the Glycerin something. <laughs> I will leave a link and I will pop them up, but these are my favorite walking shoe. And also I want to mention that it's a good quality customer service brand. They have a warranty. They are expensive, but they do have a warranty. And I actually broke one of the loops off of the back of one of my shoes and they sent me a complete replacement pair for free. So just integrity means a lot to me when I'm spending that much money on a pair of sneakers. That's kind of new to me, but you know what? They were 100% worth it. I bought another pair. I will continue to buy them. They're the best walking shoes that I've tried so far. Another thing that I am bringing with me every single day in the new year is sunscreen. And that is something that I've been doing now for two years, which I'm very proud of myself. I wear sunscreen every single time I'm leaving the house, at least on my face. If I'm showing my body, like in the summer, then also on my body. But I don't care what kind you guys get. I have tons of recommendations. I should do a whole video on it. But just buy one that works for you and wear it every single day. Everything else I have up here with me. So we're going to get into a few expensive products that I think are worth the money and that are worth the investment and... If you want to try them, I think you're going to be happy with them. First up is the highlighter that I'm wearing today. Now, this is $45, I believe, from Dior. This is the Backstage Glow Face Palette, and this is the one in 001 Universal. I saw this all over my Instagram Explore page, and I just, I'm very into like the way that products look, their packaging, like close up pictures of them. Like that is my explore page to a T. And so of course, after seeing it a thousand times, I needed it in my life. And I will say this is a little wasteful for me because I only use these two. <laughs> I mix them together. That's what I'm wearing on my face today. I haven't played around with the other ones, but you know what? They're probably gorgeous and I probably should, but I just, oh, my dogs are barking. I'm sorry, but I love this. It's worth the money. I'm glad I bought it and I use it all the time and whatever this baked formula is, it's lasting forever. So, so far so good. It is kind of sad ruining the pretty stamping, like the Dior stamping, but also I've seen people buy this directly from Dior and get a bunch of freebies. So think about buying it off the Dior website and seeing if you can get like a code where you get a bunch of free cool Dior stuff. Because if I were to do it over again, I probably would try that. Next, I think Alex Earl made this pop off on TikTok, but this is the YSL Candy Glaze. It is that like click up product. And should I put it on? I don't really want to put it on over my lipstick, but this is the 02. It's kind of like the clear shade and it's just such a juicy, like you can probably see like just the tip of it alone. It's so shiny and so juicy. It does have like a fruity, I would say kind of like mango-y scent to it. It is so shiny and so luxurious but I do think that the 02 would be my top recommendation if you were to try this for the first time they obviously have a ton of cute colors as well but I do think that this is worth the investment and to have like a luxury piece on your vanity I'm all about packaging and I love this product also great gift idea I'm giving one to my friend um, for a late Christmas gift she won't watch this, so it's fine. I'm just gonna say it. This is my favorite moisturizer of all time. It's the Honey Halo, and she's actually finally getting her moment in the sun, like the spotlight on TikTok, and she deserves it. This is the Ceramide Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer from Pharmacy. It has luxurious glass packaging with the wooden cap and the magnet scooper. It's luxury, but it's also a product staple for me. I do have super dry skin, so I need a thick moisturizer for when I go to sleep. And this one is a product that you can mix with like all of your active ingredients if you want to. So if you're using an exfoliator, use this after. If you're using tretinoin, use this after or mix it together. Anything and everything, you could use it with this. And this should be, in my opinion, the final step to kind of like lock everything in. 
but a little goes a long way. It is an expensive product. I usually buy the jumbos, but I got a deal on TikTok and I bought three jars of this. So I'm gonna be set up for a while, but I'm just so glad that this is getting its moment because it's been my favorite for like five years. It's so, so good. And if you have dry skin or know someone who has super dry skin, this is like an awesome luxury gift. And then finally, I have been reaching for this Prism Libre powder in the shade 3 which is like the pinky tone version of this powder. I love pink powder. I have loved a lot of pink powders this year but this one is the one that I am continuously reaching for pretty much every single day like regardless of how the rest of my face makeup looks. I've been pushing this underneath my eyes and into like my forehead wrinkles and my upper lip and everything. Um, it's just a good lightweight brightening powder and I do think it's worth the money. I'm debating like throwing away the little puff that's in here but I don't want to. Um, I don't use the puff. I tried using it the other day. There's just, I, I'm not a big puff girly. I like using brushes from Sigma. Such a good setting powder and my makeup has been so good lately. I need to do an updated routine for you guys. It probably would be boring because it's probably similar to what my last one was, but it's just, I like this. Like this makeup's going to last all day and I'm very happy with it. So consistency is all I've been doing lately. Like just sticking to everything that I love. But that is going to wrap up this favorites video. I am going to leave these linked in the video if I can, as well as the description box. I have a ton of discount codes and thank you guys so much for supporting me by using my discount codes. It's like the number one way that you guys have been supporting me throughout this whole journey and I appreciate it so much. Whenever I can get a custom code for you guys, I will get one and it just means so much to me that you would go out of your way to use my code but thank you guys so much for watching and for being here if you are new please hit subscribe and if you want to see more of me then make sure you follow me on my tiktok and my instagram i do post way more on tiktok but hey i am gonna try to post here at least a little bit somewhat consistently for you guys i do miss you very much and i hope you're all doing really well and i hope to see you really soon in my next video bye guys